This is us cutting down the first piece of plywood I got. And notice how we have the board completely flat against the fence. And after we got the first section cut out, we're cutting down the second piece. And after you get that one, I have to do some fine cutting on the table saw. And here's after the first few dados, got the back piece rabbited in there. It's not completely put together yet, but it's just up there for a good look at it. And that's where I'm going to dado the slots for the drawers. And then I got that done, it's all put together, glued and air nailed in. And there's the dado parts for the drawer slots. and the back rabbit or my next step is to put the backboard in. And now I got the backboard in and the 2x2 two two there isn't completely put in yet. And the shelf is pocket screwed in with the shelf holders and so is a two by two and that two by four or that plywood right there is notched out And the next step is to glue and clamp the cutout trim pieces and air nail them in. This is how the drawers are made with pocket holes and right angle clamps to make sure the thing is square and a long drill bit so the drill doesn't get in the way of the drawer. And here's the other part of the drawer with the other side on it and the right angle clamps. And after that you have to put the bottom piece in which is just held in place and pocket screws facing down so that when the drawer is open you can't see the pocket holes or the screws from the inside.
Here's the drawers that are finished. All put into place with the brackets on the side that are screwed in separately and screwed into the insides of the drawer slots. There's the four, third drawer, same thing. There's all the corner trim pieces that I showed nailing on earlier. And the drawer trims on the top and the bottom. There's a shelf, two by two. It's not for sale in California. And all the trim pieces are cut at 45 degree angle to meet at the corners evenly. And the 2x2 two two is in there with a, filled in with a piece of wood and wood filler and there's the pocket screws to keep the shelf up and the shelf stands in there. As you can, there's the wood filler right there that needs to be sanded off. And the other side you can't even tell that hole is there. And we use a countersink bit to on the drawer to hold on the drawer faces. And you they have little knuckles on there so you can tell how deep you're supposed to go in without going all the way through it. And I did a scratch all there in order to keep the bit straight and in the hole that I wanted to go into. And here's a nice stain in the process of staining. There, you just use a rag for that and wipe it on and make it all level and even. And here's the wipe on polyurethane I'm using to water protect it and make it shine. Same way as the stain to put it on there. And here's all the draw here's all the three drawers with the faces on but not completely done yet and the handles are on there too with the same thing as the drawer faces were with countersink bits as you can see those two in the middle are countersinked in And there's another look at the color of the stain on the bottom for now. And there it is, it's min wax, wood finished, the color is red mahogany. And there's a the finished project with two coats of polyurethane and the red mahogany color. <coughs> there's a shelf, you can see the shine in there. That's what the polyurethane's for and to water protect it. And that's the process of building a nightstand by Mitch Lovert.